On this series of The Garden Gurus, we're travelling the country to visit some of our favourite Nine Network personalities' backyards. This week we're visiting the garden of Weekend Today host and 60 Minutes reporter Alison Langdon. It's a little piece of paradise on the coast with a couple of problems that sandy garden owners will understand. Well, thank you so much for having us in your beautiful garden. This is awesome. It's our pleasure. I've got a little <laughs> present for you first. That's a miniature moth orchid. They're, they're cute little plants. I just love the, the delicate little flowers. It's gorgeous. The one can go on my desk at work. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so I, I take it that the lawn's getting a bit of wear and tear from somebody? Yeah, so this is sport. And oh, sport. sport is the reason why the grass isn't in such great shape in certain places. And also, with the garden bed here, I'll show you... What happened? ..why it looks What's like it does. What's going on, sport? Is this. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up through the middle. Um, I can help with the lawn. It's really easy. It's all about just stimulating as much growth so it can handle wear and tear. Garden bed, however, can I have a bit of a look? I love this elevated section. This is great. Having a look at it, the problem here is sand. Mm. You've probably got this issue with regards to actually getting water into them, which is why they look so stunted. They're just not growing. Mm. We put like a, a potting mix in yeah. and we've watered them and they do nothing. Yeah. This particular type of plant, which is a member of the Lilipili family, it's a dwarf form, it makes a lovely small hedge and it's probably mm. just going to get above the stone. So it'll be like a small screening plant. I reckon you need a layer of mulch about that thick over the top. You do have some mulch down, which is good, but I would get something a little bit thicker over the top mm -hmm. and a wetting agent. That'll make a big difference and they'll suddenly grow. You'll be surprised. This is also often used as a screening plant. This is mm. the, the mock orange, the marea, but that'd be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That is beautiful. Right. Well, we've looked after it by totally ignoring it <laughs> and doing absolutely nothing. If somebody asked me, you know, I, I killed a plant, I said, what do you do? It's either too much love or not enough. So somewhere There's in between. There's not a single plant in our house that suffers from too much love. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a look at this lawn up here? This looks pretty good. So, tell me a little bit about this lawn. It, it gets a lot of weeds in it, to be honest. This looks like a different kind of grass than what's growing over here. It, it is, but I think there's a common track leading to the gate. It's quite spongy and, and soft. Mm. It's a good, good playing surface. Because look right above you. Oh, yeah. You've got to... Uh... All right, OK. Are you any good? Okay. I've got a 12-year-old who'd be very disappointed if I... Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you very much for showing you around your backyard. I thought I'd All get right, that this in. way. Oops. Oh, don't. Oh! No! Oh! 